Good evening folks, this is Darth Rider07 coming at you today with another quick review. This one was logical after doing both the sound waves. I got both the shock waves. We have the original retail release right here on the right and we have the Galactic Man Radio Shack homage on my left and right. Sorry, it's been a long Monday. <laughs> uh, love how the light piping does with the, the faux head here inside of the ship mode. Also known as up down, upside down submarine mode. I uh, really want to go through this a little quickly here and show you a couple of my other favorite modes. Now just coming right out of this, from right at the get-go, I unplug this hose here on each of these. I fold down these flaps and then I take the whole submarine and hold it by the down periscope. And now I'm dual blazing with two ships there. And you can easily just like plug this back in like out here with this uh, simple little doodah mod here. Hang on. <laughs> I've had some fun with this and and uh, love both of these so very, very good. I don't mind taking a little bit of heat for pointing the spaceship laser pointer in another direction. Let me move this out just a little bit. Sorry about that. Now, much like Doc Holliday, I got two laser pistols. One for the both of you, but I've got a little bit better looking mode for this uh, right here in just a moment. Give me a second. And I gotta say, I like this action. I got two Cybertronian crossbow guns that even RC would be proud to wield and go around pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang and or guys you don't really have to have all that extra junk in the trunk either you can simply pop these off and lay them to the side without unsnapping everything <laughs> this is fun oh, because of those extra parts I'm just now taking off that's why you got $50 figure with this guy. He's another one of those Voyagers that have been added to plastic wise. It's a Voyager size and you know for kids they can have fun going around going pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang especially those that are into the G1 aesthetic and it's a little bit small for my hands but I still have a good time pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang. Uh, anyway <laughs> let's just take a look around here and look at the laser pistols this way. And then look on this way. And as you can see, they're all right, you know, with all the other stuff. I'm gonna pause this and get it into one more familiar shape in this. Just a moment. Be it either mode, you can get them even broken down further. Take all the armor off, and you still got great representations of Shockwave's G1 upside down submarine mode, also known as. Deep six. No, I'm teasing. This is actually just another pew pew bang bang moment for big big guys like us that like to play with toy space guns. Uh, like how the front landing gear for the ship is also can be used as a targeting reticule. But uh, these are clearly not loaded. These are clearly toys. And uh, NG1 almost had my dad talked into let me get shockwave versus megatron because this is a uh, space gun at sci-fi and not the real mccoy like the p38 all right give me just a moment i'm gonna take these two upside down submarine blaster dudes and uh get them into their most excellent robot modes if you'll just bear with me and here is both shockwave and shockwave in their g1 awesome goodness updated siege uh updates these guys are absolutely fantabulous i love the light piping i was trying to do this earlier in the day but even in this evening evening uh light it still gives off a good glow for both the red eye and the uh yellow eye and that was from g1 and they did a red eye for animated which was a really cool hat tip they did there and the whole reveal, and I just don't want to spoil for nobody. There's no Decepticon symbols on the Shockwave, but as you can see, they're both very, very true to their their roots there. And I actually got his arm backwards totally. Oops! 
All right, so now we're on. Now we're on target. As so we keep going around the block here, you can see this dynamic duo is logical for anybody that is a fan. But let me get them jacked up into their $50 mode and uh, talk about that for a moment. And while this art extra armor and bits that come with him definitely jazz him up and bulk him up. It does not hinder their ability to bulk up, uh, bust a pose, however you just you know, however you see fit. Uh, it doesn't affect any of the waist articulation or anything. Now on the back, it will get a little bit busy, guys, as it's got a lot of junk on the trunk. But we all know the reason why we bought this to begin with, guys. And it wasn't for any one of the combat ports and the stuff. And this is a great thought-out process right here. We didn't buy this set for this. In actuality, we bought it for... We bought them for this excellent salute to G1 through Siege. And they, they came out with this crazy awesome mold that we can impose in different ways. He's got the ankle rockers. He's got the thigh swivels. He's got the bends at the, at the knees. I think his hand even has a swivel there. It does. I mean, just an absolute joy to finally be able to bust some of those more dynamic poses while having both these bots, the the hat tip to shack wave and to have Shockwave doing what he does best on Cybertron keep in order and a logical command uh, on Cybertron while Megatron has gone to Earth to conquer. <laughs> now, I got a little bit of paint wear on my Galactic, man. I need to go and touch that back up and get that eye looking back in shape. But this is an excellent set for folks who are Shockwave fans. I highly suggest both. I never did have the Radio Shockwave or this guy growing up. And I'm so glad to have these guys in my possession now. And uh, the eyes just, the eyes have got me. I just love how <laughs> awesome these guys look in the daylight with their light piping. Some people are not a fan of light piping, but I'm a huge fan of it. And it just looks spectacular, both of these figures. I, uh, again, can't, you know, uh, praise Hasbro enough for giving this. The only con is the overpriced point for the extra gear and the combat weaponry that it gives you. I'm not going to do the sled mode because a lot of other folks have done that out there. But I've never seen anybody do a side-by-side -side comparison, uh, spoiler-free of the transformation. It's a simplistic uh, transformation. It's got all the articulations you'd ever want out of Voyager. Uh, it's just the price point's a little high. I think you can probably get this guy... <laughs> For cheaper now and if you definitely wait another year or so you can get it at ross or you know tj maxx or one of those stores for like the the ten dollar to eight dollar bargain bin kind of thing but this guy I doubt that this was an exclusive it came out stcc last year so glad i dropped the money on it and uh it was nice to have that come in uh right at right my birthday last year and uh you guys have an excellent safe evening out there uh, please smash that like button down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure to set that bell to all notifications so you get all my content that I release uh, you'll know it's it's, it's uh, got a video out there uh, thanks to all that has subscribed and uh, just really hope this has been a, an enlightening uh, little quick quick review of two of my favorite logical characters uh, you have shockwave and shockwave have a great night till all are one. Thank you again.